The next song we gonna do, we like to dedicate this to my future ex-wives, three through five. I wrote this song about my ex-girlfriend, it's his title, I Can Do Bad All By Myself. It's a true story. What? Jim!
candle Burning candle Burning candle Spiritually, you can feel your music. Yeah, yeah. And getting in touch with what's in here. So you're, you're tapping into something that either comes natural or the music drives you there. It's, it's overall, it's a blessing from God that I can't explain. No, no offense to nobody who believe or whatever. For me, it's a, it's a higher power and a deep belief in the sanctum, which is the deepest part of my soul. Like I really believe I'm supposed to be a musician and I'm supposed to reach the masses and spread my message. I really believe that, but I also believe that if I can have a positive way of living and use my life experiences, the bad, the ugly, and make it all good, that it's all gonna come out through the music. So what we do like uh, every Saturday, we have 150 to 200 people in the yard, and if people so amazed at how the people react to what we're doing, and the overall sentiment we get from the people is, we can see y'all in a different place. Mm -hmm. Like we know we gonna roll, but when we see how y'all, like for three hours, y'all five just in a different place and we don't take breaks, do like a three hour set. Mm -hmm. And if we, I gotta get here spiritually. If I don't do it, it's not gonna convey to the not crowd, right? right? But if I really reach into mm -hmm. it, it's like a like burning spear. You ever saw burning spear? Burn and spirit be preaching to the masses and the people be in a trance. Mm -hmm. That's because he put himself in a whole different place before he ever walked on that stage. And when his hand touched that mic, it's like you see the aura around what that's he said. How, that's how I be, man. Like, like yes. we be doing those shows and playing, I be feeling like that. I be like, it's, when I'm playing, it's music. I'm outside like of myself. Culture, so I'm in a whole nother place. Like, I'm playing to really like get something off my chest, uh, you know, just playing this field and just burst it out, you know? That's, every time I pick up the horn and be playing, that's what I'm trying to do. Like we play on sad and I'm trying to, mm, you know, I'm trying to give it out there. Yep, I you can know? have the worst of so the best. So whatever, thing. even if it's a mistake, you <laughs> might not know, but I know, but I'm still, I'm giving it everything and that makes me feel good. And I know when the people hearing it, they're like, oh yeah, dang. Why he play song. like that? Like, how you feel that? Song, I never heard that like that. A day in the life of a fool. A land in a long, in a lonely way.
Fellas, this has been great. I appreciate you being part of the Take Me to the River family forever. Thank you. Oh, thank man, you. this was a huge opportunity for us when we got the call. I was very grateful for the call. And we we more grateful because we've really been showcasing what we can put together. And we was very fortunate to never stop working and releasing two records during the whole pandemic that sold really well. Where, where can people find it? At glendavidandrewsband.com. Glenn David, it. Glenn David Andrews on Facebook, Glenn David Andrews Band dot Bandcamp. Uh, new album is called Live in My Living Room. It was in a 300 year old mansion in the French Quarter. We took out all the furniture in over two and a half days. We recorded it. Wow! In God. the very first three weeks of quarantine, and we decided that we was gonna move forward, that we was gonna collaborate with everybody, that we gonna write music. Most of the music we writing right now is not for us. We writing songs for the Aaron Nevels, the Galactics. We really, like I said, I have a new lease on life right now, so I don't see no limit to what I'm about to do, and I refuse to put a limit on me. And when I'm on side, my cousin's more like my big brother, but he you know I idolize him, so to see what we doing and how we doing it, but when you have that support, more importantly, when you have that love and support, you can push, and I really believe that if you dream something, you could achieve it. I've, li I've lived half my dream already. Now I'm just dreaming bigger. <laughs> yeah, Amen. Right. Amen. Amen.
we'll keep putting the inspiration, the love, the spirituality in your music and what you bring to the world is so important. Thank you very much. Keep doing it. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Everybody, Glenn David Andrews, Revert Peanut Andrews of the storied and famous Andrews family. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for having us. Man, thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Oh, no.